Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Back to Front mod for Hearts of Iron for your host, Mr. Uh, Funny Flag Lover. But, an end to occupation. After several years, the government of Philip Petan has officially declared that their program of national revolution to have been successful. The weakness and decadence of the old French political system, he claimed in a radio address, have been stamped out to be replaced by a new, regenerated system of government better suited for a noble and warlike nation like such as France. As part of the effort, his government has officially requested that the obligations and restrictions placed on it by the armistice be lifted and that his government be placed in full control of all French territories. In turn, he has offered to rejoin the war to punish those who plunged their two countries into the Second Bloody War in a generation. Uh, welcome with open arms. Occupation ends. Um, I have to say no because why would we give up this? Elsa Sloth again? I say no because you don't deserve Elsa Serene. Of course, I did release these guys just in case uh, the German military administration here, but. Uh, right now, we are just kind of hanging out, we're doing no focuses. Um, our focus is pretty much done at this point. Alliance of Spain would be nice, but I'm pretty sure they're already with us, so... It is what it is. Clearly, actually, not a war of anybody, but this is a world that we have. So we have Bulgaria we need to get rid of, um, Finns, the Swedes, the Danes. Um, we'll probably take out the Italians, honestly, too. Take out these guys, take out the Allies. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing, taking out the Allies. Uh, we'll go against Afghanistan as well, because... Why not? Now, the Canadians want to keep coming in. Which is kind of annoying. But I have been waiting and trying to get some more time here. Because I've been trying to build up Labrador a whole bunch. Like, Labrador is like our pet project right now. Um, to build itself up so that when we do get attacked, maybe even potentially invaded, um, we can hold on to it, maybe. So, that'll be kind of nice. Hopefully, that's at least the main goal. Um, yeah. Overall, not bad. We got some advanced landing craft, of course. Because increased holes. America's going to go nuts in terms of trying to bomb living crap out of us. Do you... That's not going to be safe staying there, is it? I guess we're trying to get nukes as well. But we've got some more of this stuff, too. The uh, 29th SS, uh, a role in the division, is a tactical unit of the SS troops. One of the SS divisions, created on August 1st, 1944, from the Rona Brigade of Kaminsky, part of the division successfully participated in the uprising or suppression of the Warsaw Uprising, the Slovak Uprising, as well as in the fight against partisans and Polish units. <clears throat> After the death of Kaminsky, some of the RONA fighters were transferred to Newhammer, with the 2nd Infantry Regiment of the 1st Division of the Armed Forces of the KONR, aside from the Kamets. A separate reconnaissance battalion of the 1st Division of the Armed Forces of the KONR was almost completely created. A little later, about a thousand more RONA fighters would be included in the 2nd Division of the KORN, or KONR, Armed Forces. Several groups of fighters decided to continue the fight on the territory of Belarus and possibly the Bryansk region. At an inspection on October 11th, the formation was recognized as incapable of combat and subject to disbandment. The 72nd SS Volunteer Infantry Regiment and the 73rd SS Volunteer uh, Infantry Regiment were transferred to the Dolvenga Assault Brigade, thus practically forming its basis. And on the 9th of 45, the Italian Assault Brigade received the 29th SS Division number. Cool. Uh, I probably don't need to see this stuff. Uh, let's do that. Anyways, let's see. Where are we at? And now... Oh, good God. It's six pounds worth. That's not good. Where's everybody? We do need to take out Bulgaria as well, so... Um, you guys are down here, which is okay-ish for now. You guys are training. I'll put you guys down here just in case you can help get rid of these guys over here, too. Uh, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt taking those guys out. Actually, where's our navy? Navy's not terrible. I'm trying to build up a lot of subs. Uh, do that. And honestly, don't even go there. Just go to... Over here. And you guys are still doing that stuff down there, which is, you know, honestly, at this point, it's kind of fine. Um, keep going through some of the Turkestan Legion. That's one of the Eastern Legions of the Wehrmacht, created from the representatives of the Turkic peoples. And Republics of Central Asia took part in the Second World War on the side of Germany. Cool. Where do we go to war with them? Should be able to take them out, right? Turkestanish Legion? Well, it could be worse. No, we're okay. We don't need that. And... Armenian Legion. It was the formation of the Bahamut consisting of representatives of other Armenian peoples. The military purpose of the formation was the state of independence of Ar so Armenia from the Soviet Union. Uh, they were part of 11 battalions as well as other groups. Cool. As well as other units. Nice. Tank on with us bigger than I thought they would have. Ah. Georgian Legion. The Georgian Legion, a compound of the Wehrmacht. The Legion existed from 1941 to 45 and was formed from Georgians, prisoners of war, and immigrants heading in Europe from Soviet power after 1921 when Georgia became part of the USSR. Some components of the Legionnaires came, first came under operational control and were part of the SS troops. And just says, okay. Well, definitely better than the Ukrainian division that we got. More rocketry just in case. Plane wise, we're doing okay enough for now. Grab some of the two. Scania, huh?
Oh! Put in his wall goals against them, huh? Annex them. Ah, that's worse than the tanks. We're good. Cool. Anything here? Combined arms would be nice and all, but no, nah, I don't really want combined arms for those guys. We'll see. Anything there? No. Problem was on level 4. It has been called in 2, which is nice. Pretty good. Spit some comps include. <clears throat> This series deserves a World Conquest. Well, we'll see. We're trying. We're definitely trying. They're by themselves, which I'm surprised they haven't joined the Allies, but that's okay. Um, wow, that's a, some thick boys. Uh, as much as I want them, we can kind of probably not use them, or don't need them. SS Waffengruppen Krim, or Crimea. SS Waffengruppen Krim, an operation formation consisting of former Soviet prisoners of wars of the Crimean Tatars, and police volunteers who were evacuated from Crimea in May of 1944, were the needs of the SS. Very cool. Heavy batteries, very nice. Hey, two heavy cruisers, not bad. Yeah, it's kind of worth uh, four count with. That's not great. We have, like we saw earlier, our uh, subs here. So hopefully they do well, and they should. But you know, you never know. Dual purpose would be good. Now we're good. Go straight for Stockholm. Sure, we'll have a few supply shoots. Where are their divisions, man? Are we out of, wait, are we out of something here? Oh, we're, we're really out of artillery. Holy crap. Why is it so bad? Who could have really made that many? That makes sense. Ah. I see why. There you go. <clears throat> now we're good. Hey. Very nice. Hey. Go for it. We got it. Nice. Mm, thank you. Republic of Finland, eh? I mean, they can be non aligned if they really don't want to be non aligned, but. There are consequences for those who are not aligned. Uh, also, I did throw in the uh, mod here. Um, fast justification. Just, because at this point, I mean, in all honesty, why would we not try to go to wars with it, as many people? Because we can. Charlemagne. The division is named after Charlemagne, French Charlemagne. The Div Charlemagne division was formed from volunteers, citizens of France, and some other countries. She fought in early 1945 in Pomerania, then participated in the defense of Berlin, suffered heavy losses. The remnants of the division surrendered to the Americans... No. Do we not get division, Senors? Ah, to open with delightful. All right. So the fifteenth SS Cossack Cavalry Corps, the Cossack unit created on February twenty fifth, nineteen forty five, on the basis of Helmut von Panwitz, first Cossack Cavalry Division. On April twentieth, nineteen forty five, became a member of the Armed Forces of the Withdrawal of the Peoples of Russia, becoming the fifteenth Cossack Cavalry Corps of the Armed Forces of the KONR. Cool. Oh, it's three of them. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. What do I do with these extra divisions? I can't delete some of these guys. Huh. No, deal with it. Let's see how well we do here. Do that. Nice. When in doubt, build up way more infantry. Or infrastructure, infrastructure, what are you, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm going crazy, everybody. Baloney? The uh, division was finally formed on 18, October 18th, 1944, on the basis of the 5th SS Valonia Volunteer Assault Brigade, consisting of <clears throat> 69 and 70 SS Infantry Regiments. The division consisted of French, Spanish, Russian, and Walloon volunteers, and the Walloons were the majority, though. In May 1945, the remnants of the Belgian division became part of the 32nd Army Corps in the Schoenfeld area. The remnants of the compound were consolidated in the Derek's combat group, continued their retreat, continuing their retreat, and passing in Prenzlau. The Derek's group reached Neustrelitz on April 28th. From Neustrelitz, the Walloon volunteers retreated to Lübeck and surrendered to the Allies, the division commander. Uh, Degro fell to Denmark and then to Norway, where he then threw, flew by plane to Spain. Yeah, we got a nuclear bomb too. Look at that. I don't care if you're over it stacked. 
And all these places are guaranteed by America. So I'm just really waiting until we get all this stuff down here. As long as these divisions don't leave. Level 9 forts. I mean, I've been building up this place quite a bit. I mean, that's pretty good, I'd say. That's two press. That's a ship. We're pretty good with Goebbels here. Economic policy because we can. Uh, expand the mines because we can. Um, nothing there that really matters. Nothing there that really matters. Cast Anton. Uh, our XCOM starts. We'll do that at the end. Uh, Transnistria and Odessa. Uh, I've got plans for Ukraine. Uh, I'm not going to do follow room volunteers because we're kind of already doing that. No and no. We did lose one ace pilot so far, which does suck, but whatever. It is what it is. Oh, we need just fine. I was wondering why it would take so long. Just justify. Don't start just fine. That's not bad. Cool. Yeah, these guys are going to be a pain in the butt to take out, too. Put a focus holes. Not bad. Might be able to hold out here. We'll see. Especially once we go to war with America. So. Floating harbors. From here to invade there. Which will honestly probably be very, 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 very fortified. One, two, three. Actually, just gonna invade from here, yeah. There. We'll see. Cool. Uh, better engineers. Cause again, no. Integrate the Croatian fleet. Four hundred fifty. Um, do we lose one hundred fifty additional political power? Yeah, we did. We lost three hundred trying to get the Croatian fleet. Holy crap! They only had like ten ships. It's pretty bad. Not gonna lie, that's pretty bad. Do you actually have any battleships? Okay, you do, but still. Island will be ours. Cool. Uh, we don't need to be there. Realistically, all I have to do is there. So let's go to War Finland. I'm like a good old Finn. Can so we actually do anything against them? It looks like we're going to struggle against them a little bit. Got a lot of planes on these guys already. Just in case. Should be alright. Ah, convoys. Go bye bye. Love it. Anything else we do here? No, we gotta get that support, which is great. Be very aggressive. Nice. Come on. Hey, would you look at that? An encirclement. Yummy. Ah, uh, reminds me of TNO and you have to do this in TNO. Goodbye. Sometimes that's a real big pain in the butt, though. Oh, look at that. I mean, we sunk a sub. Yunkers. Only 75 air XP for now, which does kind of suck, but whatever. War bonds. Ah, 26 of often Grenadier Division to SS. Uh, like the 25th SS Volunteer Infantry Division, 1st Hungarian. It was formed on December 27th, 1944, at the New Hammer Training Ground in the Cilicia. The division consisted mainly of members of the Hungarian Army and mobilized Hungarian citizens. At the beginning of 1945, together with the 25th SS Division, they turned into the American troops. Beautiful. He needs more tanks, though. Three nukes, huh? Not enough. Three nukes were never enough. Nice. Oh, let's see. Someone says, and the next time you play Germany in this mod, go all 
as, as for your division. So, so someone says, don't know why, but this video makes me want to watch The Man in the High Castle, which I kind of understand why. So I also asks, can you do the Thousand Week Reich, or Thousand Week, uh, yeah, Reich, Russian Republic with Nobokov as president, if I remember. And someone was asking why his Oval Blues doesn't, fit, doesn't work, so I'm not really sure, too. So, very weird, but very cool, very nice. And that's how we deal with traders. Yay. Alright, so now at this point, you guys should be done. Uh, you know what? We'll sacrifice everybody here, can we? Actually, where are you guys at? You're done there already. Oh, uh, we want to hurry up and get through that part. We may want to do... Uh, we need these guys for the tanks, though. Oh, uh, they are the tanks, but, like, to move through these guys. There you go. Of course, we did want to take out Bulgaria as well. Chemical Industry 5, nice. Back to Dockyard Output, yes. Crimea, yes, yes, yes. Tons of anti-air all over the place, yes, yes, yes. That's Greece not in our faction. SS Division, formed by the Order of uh, 2nd of November 1944 in the area of the city of uh, Zelgersgesag. Included Hungarian volunteers. Already at the end of the November, the division was transferred to the New Hammer Training Ground in Silesia, with the 26th Austria's Volunteer Infantry Division. The second Hungarian was later formed. Both divisions formed the uh, 17th SS Army Corps, Hungarian in February of 45. The Soviet Winter Offensive in 45 forced uh, the not fully formed division to retreat to the west, where it surrendered to American troops in the area of Atasi, Austria. Cool. The SS. The mission of the SS troops, consisting mainly of Italian volunteers as well as volunteers from Slovenia, Serbia. Uh, originated on August 1st, 1944, when the Karsk uh, Battalion, German SS Kursvea Battalion, was renamed in 1942 and was used in northern Italy, primarily in Friuli, in the Julian Venice against partisans. Surrendered on May 10th, 1945, to American troops. Sounds like a lot of surrendering to me. Bro, come on. There we go. Poor Sophia. We probably send this group over to Latvia. Oh no, okay, Labrador. A lot of division's gonna die. They're soft underbelly. So exposed, and I love underbellies. Blow Suez? That'd be a bad idea. Oh, so I have someone here, huh? Funk. Ah, uh, Von Ribbon Trap, why not? Funk. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And Sophia will be ours. We'll figure out what we're going to do with the next. But, you guys are here already. Nice. Better engineers are nice. And very good. Should be able to go to war very, very soon. In about, literally about a week. Emmanuel Solderos.
I'm going to go to Tibet, Afghanistan. I've just been waiting to go to war with these people. Basically, to start re recording. It's fine. It's fine. Well, the French are there. Good luck with that. Um, oh, look at this. Nice. Head on out first. Oh, we have a light cruiser here, huh? Well, I don't think we have enough naval XP for this, but we'll probably have a lot of naval XP very soon. So, let's do it. What are we waiting for? All for Greece. Join the Allies. All right. Oh, we did some war with Greece. Greece already war. It would be a shame for Germany to miss out on the base in the eastern base in, uh, base in the eastern Mediterranean. Well, I guess we might as well do a focus. Don't really have to, but we could try it just for funsies. Bombers on here too. Cool. Well, we're World America now. Let's see what we can do down here too. Oh, that's actually going a little better than I thought it was already. Nice. Darwin. Can we actually just literally walk in? All right then. Get all the way to the bottom part of the southern continent thing. Hello, are you done? Well, it is them, so what do you expect? Saudis. Saudi time. Can't imagine them in Saudi Arabia, but then again, I don't. In here, army offense. Eh, why not? Hey, oh, that's good. I like that too. Look at this. Nice. So you get all their fleet. Oh, very nice. Oh, not bad. So you guys are great. We need Iceland. Huh? Hmm. In case. So any panzers do this is a bad idea too, but whatever. Ah, oh, three making destroyers. Not bad. American combos go bye bye, yeah. Oh, cruiser. Well sub oh okay, so I don't mind losing one sub for 38 American convoys. That's pretty flippin' darn good. You guys are actually winning on the front so far, huh? Nice. What keep going on though? How strong is America? Because I have no idea. We're playing Ruby. 3 million manpower, extensive conscription, billions of oil. Right here, Truman. Oh, that's a lot of divisions. Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to kill off. Oh, how many ships do they have? Um, not as much as I thought they would. They've there's mostly been made up of destroyers, which is kind of honestly disappointing. Makes sense, but still. Oh, the gosh darn Americans! We're seeing a lot of convoys. Holy crap! How many? Canada, two hundred thousand. Jesus. 
Because we have like a thousand factories ourselves, but still. Oh, we can go to where... All right. Oh, you guys are probably suffering a whole bunch of crap here, aren't you? Poland? No, not until the end. Oh, come on. We can give manpower. Nice. Wow. Where are we at? Saudi Arabia? We're out. Yeah, I don't think the Afghan army is going to be able to match us. And they got mountains. That's probably going to hurt us quite a bit, but still. Yeah, I thought we are going to see most of the American army and uh, manpower, hopefully. Just by sinking them. Sinking their ships. Sinking their convoys. Strategy. Let's see if it works, though. They're actually able to advance quite far. Uh, as you can tell, I built up a lot of, like, infrastructure here and stuff like that. Super important to do so. Oh. Nice. We're doing very well down here. I love it. stuff. Good, another capital ship. British de Grossa. Falba. Four hundred thousand casualties so far. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh stuff can wait, boom. Not bad. He's pretty good. Yeah, they go to Afghanistan. Nice. Come in the war, or we're gonna kill you. This is ridiculous. I'll even offer you manpower to be coming to the war. Jeez, it's taking forever. Let's see, can we actually go to war with Iceland? Or just just fly on them. Not bad, not bad. Can't do too much around there, but that's alright. If you would hurry up and allow us to do what we need to do. Oh. Handling moderate building stuff. There you go too. A war with Greece. And then. Ah, oh, this one. Crossing the Atlantic. There you go. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, why are there a lot of Canadian destroyers there? Huh. Hey, you capture that sucks, bro. Not bad. Not bad. Uh... Loreto. Who else is not in our faction at the very least? So we'll take out those guys, Tibet. These guys will fall with us anyways. Um, not sure what to send you, to be honest. Not really sure. Yep, I guess you get guys can come up here.
What am I making? Expensive conscription, huh? Raj. There you go. And I do. Wow. Nice. Good. I'm going to kill Argentina. Sink all the convoys. Now this will destroy a lot of American convoys. And Mexican convoys too. Ah, Saudi Rig is gone. It's very weird. Ah, yes. Very good. Probably haven't learned more yet, but he's becoming a superior tactician, which is nice. Green water expert as well. Protector, I think not. And they've never received it yet, huh? Yeah, no. Never out of con. You sure we're out of convoys? Sure about that. Huh. Probably stacking this many divisions on the border here with Yemen. Probably not a good idea, but yeah, we can make it work. Losses. 850,000, not enough. Mother Schmidt, say. Eh? Why not? I don't think we even make them just, just because it takes so long to make. Cool. Nice. Ah, time for Yemen. That's nice. No, I gotta do this too. That's fine. No, we're good. There you go. Have fun with that. them off. Them all off. Just so many combos getting sunk. Almost a million casualties. Beautiful. Oh, can we actually move through here finally? Somewhat? No, there's just the, these stupid American divisions stuck in here. That's dumb. Wow. How do we get so many dockyards? Good. Um, cool. Um, I don't think we'll really have enough for this. Probably wouldn't be a very good ship to actually produce. Probably don't have enough here. Oh wait. 
electronics. Why not? Thank you. Ah. Oh, look who got over here finally. You guys actually go in and do well. Maybe. Just maybe. This is sad and stupid. How are they able to get through all these territories? This literally makes no sense. <clears throat> Doing the Brazil is probably the worst idea possible. We're worth Iceland too. Do your best. Huh? Almost a superior technician. Super close. Yeah, I don't understand how they went to war, or they dunk on a war, and they just let American divisions through here. They basically have betrayed us at this point. This is really stupid. Yeah, this is really dumb. I'm gonna force them to join the war no matter what. So, uh, we'll see. I'll see you when we get through a little bit more. And here we are, at everyone, in April 1948. We've done quite a bit here already. We've had a little bit. Well, we invaded through Labrador, like I said earlier, and actually, we pushed pretty darn far into Quebec. And then Navy invaded through here. And then we actually Navy invaded Boston itself, which is really good. And then we had a little New York pocket. We just had a Michigan pocket. Um, we had a little bit of Florida pocket as well, and helped take them out. But here are the casualties. We've lost 4.2 million Germans, which is not very good. 5.5 million in total, versus 11 million total with 9 million million dead Americans. So overall, casualty ratio, not the worst we've ever seen it. Could be better. We just got we already have modern tank chassis, but I can't be bothered to, you know, change those too much right now. Um, in the meantime, we have like 37 nukes, and we've not even used them once. So mm, strap bombers. Don't have a lot of them. But we have enough. Not sure if I'll actually really use these, but you know, whatever. Um we can pound stuff away. Honestly, destroy that and anti-air for now. Yeah. You can do some uh, Gulf Coast. Why not Gulf Coast? Actually, it's cool. I don't know it's Appalachia, East Coast, Gulf Coast, which makes... Honestly, this makes way more sense than how it's divided in vanilla. Like, New England makes sense to a degree. East Coast, it does make some sense as well. All this stuff. The Great Lakes makes a lot more sense than having all this one giant one. I can't remember if it is one giant one. The Gulf Coast is so much better than having just all giant chunk. Appalachia is really good to divide it up like that too, so... I'm impressed, Debs. Impressed. I was nuking my own state right now. Yay! Uh, let's see. Mobile is not hot enough. Biloxi, I always call it wrong. I don't think we nuke LA yet, no. They blew... Argentina. Also, we did... Oh! Oh, crap! We did get a collaboration government, but... Nice. Canada has to die as well as the United Mexican States. Um, you guys can go out here. Well... We're already taking out the southern portion. Atomic bomb, Louisiana? Nice. Very nice. We did take out Australia. I mean, not too much has really happened. I mean, pretty much it's taking everybody out at the most, for the most part. I don't think take out everyone, but at this point, we pretty much have. I mean, there's literally no one left here, so. If they join the Allies, I'm totally okay with that. Also, I did force Argentina to come into the war, so they're looking pretty good. Um, this is actually what got lower, which is good as well, but, you know, my goodness. Bunch of crazies. 
America is not allowed to come back. We could go all the way to Alaska. Scout planes? Sure, why not? Yeah. Extra armor. Go, go, go. Two of the People's Republic? Oh, I think not. Guadalajara? Cool. Oh, I guess we already got uh, these other states too. Cold War era building materials. Very nice. Get some more rubber, but we don't really need it, but that's okay. Yeah. What as? I don't think. Uh, they would hang up. Oh, oh, God, yeah. We lost a lot of guys. Besides us, Italy's lost quite a few. The French just lost quite a few. We've taken the brunt of all the casualties, though. It's kind of sucked, but, you know, makes sense. Guadalajara, please. We pretty much finished all focuses. Ooh, only 93%. 90%, 6% war sport. Stability's pretty bad, but, you know, whatever. 84% is not high enough. And I don't really care about factories anymore. Seriously, how many, how, many, how many VPs do we need? No, they just capitulated. Okay. There you go. Take out those goddamn Canadians. Actually, don't do that. Go home. Because we... We did some Rex Commissariats. Denmark. Wow, that is a picture of that dude. That is a picture. Ran out of things to build? Don't really care. Hmm. I'm sure it's Scandinavian, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Don Volga. Fenost? Muscovine? That's gonna make the game, like, really hard. This is actually Wales. We can do Wales. Cool. Arthur Owens. It's a generic purchase man. Take Vancouver, that's pretty much it. Wow, they death stacked a lot here. Hold on, let's grab some of those nukes. Oh, uh, not you. You guys. They death stacked 50 some odd divisions. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Nuke him. Ah! Well, alright then. Whatever. Yeah, I'm just gonna take everything for now. I, I did say I wanna take out. Oh, there we go. Um. Oh, did I take that stuff too? Oh, crap. Uh, there, you guys take this. I did say I wanna take out Italy, but at this point, eh, but not, maybe not for this campaign. It's getting kinda late for me at the time of this recording, so. Hmm. I mean, it would look nice if Italy did own all this stuff as well. Argentina, Peru. I know no, you can't handle all this stuff, but whatever, don't really care. Venezuela, Nepal, Bhutan, Tibet. Uh, we'll take this stuff too. They join the Allies and they all lose. Who could have seen that one coming? Colombia, Dominican Republic, Cuba, um, Ecuador. Well, I just, this is taking so long. Uh, let's give it Italy. You know what? You can have all of Saudi Arabia and Yemen. Makes you look a little nicer. Almost like a TNO world. Oh, we have a German Raj on there. Well, that's stupid. Whatever. Uh, I'll take Canada. I'll take Australia. Mexico. Afghanistan. -y. Could give that to Spain. Yeah, I should have given that to Spain. The Philippines. But whatever. And we'll also use, use a state transfer tool mod as well. Make this look nice. There we go. That's a little better. Um, Women Malvern, Poland, Nord Amerikanisches Territorium. Well, I'm going to do some of this stuff and make sure we can see what, who we release very so soon. So, everyone, I did end up using cons commands to annex like Italy and the French state and stuff like that just because I wanted to see what these were all like. So, um, of course, we have Scotland. We don't have Ireland, which is, you know, whatever. We do have uh, Albert. Albert. Oh, kind of handsome with that blue tie. Of course, we saw Wales. Uh, military government up here. National Spain is still the same. 
Uh, we have the Italian Social Republic. Took them out just because we could to see what if they'd be any different. Hungary, of course, normal. Our ex protectorate Illyrin led by Palovich. Oh, we have Brex protectorate Serbin led by Milan Nidic. I did annex these guys too to see what would happen. Nothing really happened. Our ex commissariat Ukraine with partisans. Koch is over there. Austin, I love Austin. Hinrich Löser. Oh, oh, that's interesting. They actually have the general plan Ost implementation. Run that works. Oh, well, those German settlers consolidate our power. Purge local resistance. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm glad I looked at this. Uh, Ukraine, Austin, oh, Muscovy is massive all the way up to the Urals. Led by Siegfried Kash. General Focus 3. Don Volga. Led by Dietrich Klags. Very cool. General Focus 3. Caucasus Rosenberg, of course. Arx Commissariat. Kazakhstan. Oh, German settlers. So that's, that's pretty cool. And Turkestan, of course. Uh, Oryx, Commissariat, Fenost, Far East, of course. And we saw China and stuff like that over there. And who's over down here? Eugene, Eugen, Ost. Ot. Liberate Indochina. That's cool. Kind of the same thing as we saw earlier. But German investors, preemptive strikes on Vietnamese nationalists, of course. Well, that's, really, that's cool that they actually have uh, different ideas for what they're going to actually implement here. So other than that, I don't think there's really much else. No, not Yugoslavia. Oh, except for Africa. Forgot about that. Rex Protector at North Africa. Um, Middle Africa. Hey, I've seen this guy before. Hey, a new land. Nice. Cargo hubs. Very cool. I love this. Leftover resistance, of course. Uh, down Congolese tribes. Local rubber industry. Tanks of mines. Ost Africa. Ugh, where is my Hans who tick? Hans? And Sud Africa. So that's actually really cool. I had to use Gons commands, like I said, but you know, whatever. And we also have American Reich. Julius Fritz Kuhn. Sounds very familiar, but you know, whatever. Oh, and Dana Mock, of course, like I said earlier. I think that's pretty much it for us. I've really enjoyed this campaign. Maybe near the end here. Oh, Nahost. I forgot about Nahost. No, nothing there. Um, near the end there, it's kind of a little grindy. I mean, whenever you fight America, especially on their own turf, it's very, 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 very grindy. It's pretty annoying. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.